Hello and good evening. My name is Senora Jones, or Frau Jones, depending on whether I teach Spanish or German. I teach all Spanish 1 classes and German 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm Senora James, and I teach Spanish 2, 3, and 4. We are here tonight to talk to you about the elective foreign language. And we might be biased, but we both think that foreign language is an integral part to a well-rounded education. Um, apart from obviously teaching the language, it prepares our students to become global citizens. In a world where digital borders are constantly shrinking, it is very important to be familiar with other cultures, other concepts, other traditions, um, and be open-minded, open to the world at large. And that is something that we really stress in our foreign language classes, be that Spanish or German. Foreign language is not only an instrument in raising our global citizens, it really also helps in other subjects. Um, being confident in a foreign language enhances the knowledge of the English language. It is helpful in mathematics um, and in discerning structures in, in other subjects. Okay, one uh, really good benefit to taking a foreign language is that a lot of colleges these days require two years of foreign language. So if you don't end up taking it with one of us, you end up having to take it when you get to college. Um, and then you'll have to pay for it and it'll be much faster pace and a lot less fun than we'll make it. So if you take it with us, you can do it um, slower paced and you know with peers that are also learning it for the first time and have a little bit more fun. And then also a suggestion that we have that a few people have taken us up on is if you are worried about your freshman year being too hard or challenging, um, you could always wait until your sophomore year to start your foreign language and get your two years in your sophomore and junior year or a little bit later even than that. I totally agree. So <laughs> if you're taking it your sophomore year, unfortunately you won't be able to get all four years in, but you might be able to get your three years in, definitely your two. Um, so foreign language, always a good idea. While the both of us absolutely endorse foreign language, we do have to mention that it is not a very easy class. Um, it is fun to take, it is entertaining, it is very rewarding, but it does require um, dedication and commitment, and it does require the evil word work on the student's part to succeed. Um, but in the end, it is worthwhile. Things that we are able to do in the classroom um, are very varied. Our classroom is not a static classroom. It is not a sit in your seat the entire time and solve math problems or talk about a story. We generally have about three, four different activities through the uh, course of a period. And our activities are things like partner work, speaking to a partner. There are projects that we're working on. We get to watch movie clips, um, learn grammar or different vocabulary through songs, um, either songs that we sing in the classroom or songs by um, current artists, um, either Latin American artists or German artists. Um, so that we get to watch movies. Um, it's just a very active classroom that, that we both have. Okay, we're going to talk about International Club that um, Frau Jones and I are both the co-leaders of. And um, it is actually the biggest club in the school. Um, we require that you be in a foreign language or have taken two years of a foreign language to be in the club. Um, but it's basically just a bunch of fun things about culture. So we have just a few meetings throughout the year in uh, the tutorial period. And we have a food committee that'll bake up some homemade German cookies or Spanish um, desserts of some sort. Um, and they'll bring it for everybody to try. And then we also have um, usually crafts that we'll do that are authentic during our tutorial period meetings. Then we also have a field trip in um, the winter usually that goes to Indianapolis to the International Festival. Um, that's just for our club. And then we also have uh, a pizza night photo scavenger hunt that we do throughout the school and people will have to record themselves doing things, but the clues for those are written in German or Spanish. So that's always a really fun night. And then we also usually have an Oktoberfest cookout of some sort um, around fall. Um, and then uh, we have International Day at the very end of the year that our club helps put on. 
and uh, you guys get to come outside during your class period and do an authentic craft again and uh, eat a full lunch actually um, and hit pinatas that my fourth year kids make and if you're in the club um, international day is free of charge and you don't have to worry about paying for the meal for that day then all right now we're going to talk about one of the best things that we do in our career and that is that we both lead trips overseas and abroad for our students and we both absolutely love to travel so um, uh, this year which is 2019 when we're recording this um, we are co-leading a trip to Scotland and Ireland which is not German or Spanish speaking but it's everyone's dream so we're doing it um, but this will be my seventh trip leading students abroad and Frau Jones is Third. Third, okay. Third or fourth. It's been a while. We have a lot of experience doing this. Um, but we wanted to let you all know that we take these trips every single year. Usually we haven't had a year off in ever, so <laughs> since we started doing it. Um, but we usually do um, Europe on the odd years, and then we try to do a more affordable Latin America, usually like Puerto Rico. We thought about Dominican Republic. Frau Jones has one plan for next year, 2020, which she's going to talk about now. Yeah, 2020, we're going to Belize, uh, just south of Mexico. Uh, it's going to be an exciting trip. Uh, we're going to see ancient Mayan ruins. Um, we're going to tube down an underground cave river, swim in a waterfall, um, go ziplining through the jungle, and snorkel with nurse sharks. So I'm going to be excited about that trip. Uh, June of 2020 after school is out um, and then in 2021 there will be a trip to Europe so stay posted for that um, and to all the parents who are sitting there thinking why does my kid get to go the good news is that parents or aunts uncles grandparents can tag along on these trips it's not exclusive to students alone so adults can accompany their kids on this trip all right, we thank you for your attention, and we definitely hope to see each and every one of you students in one of our classes at some point during your high school career. Thank you. Adios. Auf Wiedersehen.